Right now I'm going to tell you about a technique that I've personally used for many months to reach my goals and successes way quicker without any distractions and to help me decide on the correct thing to do in life. Now this technique is very simple and it will work only if you remember to use it. And this technique is very simple to remember and it works like this. So if you know about delayed gratification and instant gratification, you're already halfway there. So I'll explain for those who don't know. Instant gratification are activities or things we do in the moment that feel good in the present and only in the present. It's things like scrolling our social media, things like watching YouTube, playing video games, doing degenerate activities. Sometimes it can be as extreme as drug taking or nicotine or any kind of substance you can take that will give you that dopamine hit instantly, that will make you feel those happy hormones instantly. But they will not benefit you in the future at all. Like if you think about it, if you scroll your phone, you can do that for thousands of days. Will it benefit you in the future? No. Only thing that will happen is you will be more efficient at finding what you like on your phone because now you know what you like more and you scroll more efficiently. Now, we don't want that to happen in our lives. Now, delayed gratification is the complete opposite of that. It's when we do the difficult work, when we don't feel like doing the difficult work, that will benefit us in our future lives. So these are examples like this. Meditation, working out, taking cold showers, building resilience, playing an instrument, reading books. There's many more I can talk about. This is delayed gratification, and these are the activities that will compound over time, build up, and make you a more successful person in the future. Because you are doing this habit, which is let's say playing an instrument, and you give 30 minutes of your time every single day without stopping, without like skipping a day or two, you give a 30 minute time period for playing this instrument every single day, and after a year, you have compounded to 365 days playing 30 minutes. Now, what is this? It's like 180 hours of playing an instrument in a single year. Now, you can only imagine how much progress you can make by just playing 30 minutes for a single day. Now, this is delayed gratification because now, after one year, you know how to play an instrument. The same goes for books, the amount of things that you can learn from reading the correct material. You will also compound this reading into being more knowledgeable about certain subjects that you're reading about. So this is delayed gratification. Another example is going to the gym. Going to the gym right now is not going to give you an instant result. Unless, yeah, you're getting a pump, you know, you're getting a little bit of a bicep pump here and there, you know, you're feeling good, you're looking in the mirror and you're like, yeah, like, you know, my bicep is like one centimeter bigger and your mind is like, you know, you can notice it, no one else can notice it, but you can see, like, yeah, like, you know, my bicep is a bit bigger. And this is like the instant gratification you get from working out, but you don't get the instant results that are like going to stay for, you know, for the week. If you work out once this week, it's not going to stay for the whole week unless you're just getting that pump. Now, if you work out the same way I explained playing an instrument, if you work out for every single day, one hour, go to the gym, work out, not skip a day, 365 days, 365 hours in one year, you're going to be going to the gym. Now, you look in the mirror and you see the results of your delayed gratification. You can see the work you've been putting in and you feel proud of yourself. You feel happy. So now, what kind of technique am I telling you about? So whenever you're having troubles to decide what to do in your day-to-day -day life, if you're having troubles just to put you on the correct path, if you have an option A or an option B, let's say option A is going on YouTube and watching a video that is like 20 minutes long, or option B is going to your room and meditating for 20 minutes, or maybe reading a book for 20 minutes, which option is going to be more beneficial to you? Well, this kind of depends on the context. If you are studying for a chemistry exam and you're going to watch a YouTube video about chemistry for 20 minutes, this will be more beneficial to you right now because you have a chemistry exam coming up. Well, this is not the case for all of us because we use YouTube and all of these instant gratification activities for instant gratification and that instant dopamine hit. Many of us actually do not use YouTube for educational purposes, we just use it to waste time. So in this case, option B seems a lot more 
attractive to us for our future selves because 20 minutes of reading or 20 minutes of meditation will do us so much more good than watching 20 minutes of YouTube that is completely irrelevant to our current lives. Let's say we watch a video about we watch a South Park episode on YouTube, like someone reacting to, to a South Park episode, because that's what I've done recently. And do I feel proud of myself watching a South Park episode on YouTube where someone reacts to the South Park episode? No, it has no benefit to my life whatsoever, and I'm not going to feel proud of myself if I continue doing so for one year. It's not going to compound to anything good apart from me knowing about South Park, but that's like who wants to know about South Park? Who wants to know about anything that's not relevant to their current lives? I would way rather compound meditation or compound reading books because let's say meditation, it will help me be a more calm person. And if you want to learn a bit more about meditation, look at the previous video that I posted. It's going to teach you all about how to relax and meditate properly. And reading material, reading material that is beneficial to my current purpose. Let's say I'm reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's going to help me so much more than watching this YouTube video that like there's not even any comparison that I can do. So just by looking at choice A and choice B, you should always go with choice B because this is going to achieve delayed gratification. You will compound these hours, these work man hours that will later treat you well in the future. You will feel like you have achieved something and this will give you pleasure in the future. The same example that I've used about working out. You will look in the mirror after one year, every single day when you look in the mirror, you will feel some kind of purpose achieval, if that's even a word. You'll feel like some kind of gratification. You will feel like you've actually done something in life because you see your progress in the mirror and you're happy. So this is going to be the delayed gratification effect. So whenever you feel like you're struggling to decide between two options that you have, and you always have two options, it's never that you have one option. It's never that like all you have in, in your pocket is your phone and you have to use your phone. This is, there's nothing else you can do. You have to use your phone. You can choose, let, let's say you're in a waiting room at the vets, right? You have to bring your dog to the vets and you have your phone in your pocket, there's like a waiting room full of people, they're all sitting on their phones, and you look at them, and you're like, oh, they're all sitting on their phones, there's no one to talk to, you know, I'm going to take out my phone and scroll social media. That's your option A. Now, option B could be as simple as going outside for a short walk, doing deep breaths, and being present in the present moment, looking at the trees around you. If that's not an option, if you cannot leave the vets, now you can just sit on the chair and just be mindful. Do like a five senses check-in. Okay, what can I smell? What can I taste? What can I see? What can I hear? Like a simple meditation within your mind. Or you can just simply do deep breaths while you're sitting there. Or the best thing you could do is spark a conversation with the person sitting beside you. Ask them about their dog. The best thing is not option A. It's not grabbing your phone and mindlessly scrolling because it's not going to give you any benefits for your future self. If you pick option B, and let's say in this scenario, in the vets, that you've talked to someone beside you, let's say, okay, I'm going to talk to this lady, she's like 60 years old. What can happen is, she can give you some pretty good insight, because this lady is 60 years old, you're 25, and she will tell you about her life, and you may actually get some knowledge or some wisdom from this woman that's sitting in the vets, also waiting for her dog to be checked out by the vet. And... This is all about making the correct choices in our lives. It's all about picking the delayed gratification activity rather than the instant gratification activity. So if you're ever confused in life and you don't know what to do, always pick delayed gratification because this is going to also feel good in the present moment. Again, give you the example. In the vets, while you're talking to this elderly woman about her dog or whatever it is, you are going to be happy engaging in that conversation. Most likely, you will be happy. If you are working out, you are most likely to encounter happy moments while working out. The same way meditating, you will be happy while you're meditating. You might be content, you might not be ecstatic, you might not be getting that instant dopamine hit that you're used to while you're scrolling your phone, but you will definitely feel feelings of calmness come like all over your body. You will feel good. It's just that it does not feel 
as pleasurable as scrolling your phone because there's so many things coming at you. There's so much information, so much dopamine coming at you by you scrolling your phone that you will just feel like doing a different activity is more difficult. So it's just what we're conditioned to do in life. Always pick the delayed gratification option. What will make you feel good in the future? Always think about your future self because doing the instant gratification activities will never benefit your future self. This is it for this video. I hope this will help you decide for your future actions. I hope that you can then decide whether option A or option B is more viable. If you wanna play video games, maybe learning an instrument is a lot better for your future self because then you can feel proud of yourself. You never feel proud of playing video games, watching TV, binging Netflix shows, or doing anything that makes you feel good in the presence. You will not get better at watching TV if you watch TV every single day. It will still be watching TV. Whereas if you read books, you will get better at reading, you will attain more knowledge, you will become a more wise person overall. So this is it. I have coaching calls linked in the description below, so consider booking a coaching call with me so we can talk one-to-one. -one. And thanks for watching this video, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, commenting down below if you enjoy this content. And as always, peace.